I was just a baby when my mum became the first Māori woman to write and direct a feature film. But of all my mum's untold stories, there is none greater than her own. What we see on the screen is only the dominant white monocultural perspective on life. We need to see our own. We need to see each other out there and we need to go out and do it. If you did just then, you did for the last time. You do that when there's anything happening and you'll get stomped on or locked up. I realise that. I've always felt strongly that our land gets taken, the fisheries and forests get taken, and in the same category is our stories. They were all saying things like, oh, why doesn't she make nice films? I mean, I couldn't make nice films because they were doing ugly things. And it's a historic day for New Zealand. At Bastion Point, a massive army police contingent has moved in to remove the Maori land protesters. Wouldn't it be better to discuss the issues here rather than air them overseas? No, we're not exclusive. The problems that we have here are problems that occur in every other single country in the world. She reminded me you know, that, that sort of my point of difference of, in filmmaking is like trying to maybe take a serious situation and inject it with a lot of this sort of irreverence or humour. One of my primary goals is to decolonise the screen and to indigenise a lot of what we see up there. But I understand now why my mother sheltered me as she did. She didn't want my future to be determined by the struggles of the past. Mm -hmm.